Good morning. Starting another occasional vlog. I'm starting on a Saturday at Taylor's Farm Shop. I'm in the car because it's absolutely booked in it now. Just going to go in and grab some food for the weekend. We're going to have pizza, I think. Now we're talking. Trolley quickly filled. Ugh, dear me, that weather. Uh, someone on the uh, vlog did ask, so I'll answer now, so that any, if anyone else is interested to know. Uh, Taylor's Farm Shop. Uh, which were, where we just went is between Parbold and Busker. There's a little roundabout between the two uh, in an area. I think it's near Ringer Bells, and there's a little petrol station. It's just down the road from like you come off the road between Parbold and Busker, and just down a bit. And uh, it's just on the left down there. I'm, I'm not sure what the name of the road. I'm terrible with road names. I just generally stick things in Google Maps and drive there. <laughs> Good sense of direction. Terrible name for road. Terrible memory for road names. Anyway, I'm going to pop to B&Q because um, I've been continuing painting the office uh, and I need to get some decent uh, gloss. I need quick drying though, and I know quick drying's not as good as borne out by the fact that all the quick drying that we did a couple of years ago in our house looks like terrible now. But with cats, I can't be having wet gloss in the house for 24 hours because they'll just ruin it. Yeah, I have returned with the delights from... Oops, I've opened the steak up on the way home. Oh, I'll have to get some more cooking film on that. But yeah, some stuff from the farm shop. I got some sirloin steaks for in the week. Uh, Gemma really enjoyed the minted lamb last time. So I got this minted lamb shoulder this time to try. This might need freezing though, because it's only got the seventh on it. That's two days away. And pizzas for tonight. I also bought some uh, extra frozen chicken pieces and a pie for my dinner. The pies in the entails are really good actually, they're really well filled and full of me. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Well yes we are home, uh, additionally I bought some more paintbrushes. I've, I've taken to buying better quality paintbrushes because we have a lot of cheap paintbrushes and you know you use it once, clean it maybe, use it again and it ends up going in the bin or whatever. But we bought some Dulux ones a few years back and I found one the other day while I was painting and started using it and it did the trick perfectly. It was like much better quality paint finish and easier to paint. I also bought some quick drying gloss to go with. I'm hoping this is the one I needed. Yeah, four hour dry time. Um, a lot of gloss tent takes like a day, doesn't it? And with cats around, I want it as dry as quick as possible so I can reopen those rooms for the cats to access. Because although the, the kitchen, the back room is easy to separate, the room that will be the office, and I can keep the cats out of there. Um, I do need to paint all the stairs and stuff, so it's kind of... I got that paint, and then I might do the stairs. Uh, <laughs> so what's been going on? Uh, we did have a weekend off last weekend. Gemma was just feeling a bit under the weather. She had a bit of a sore throat. Uh, so we decided to take it easy, have a nice relaxed weekend at home, and not vlog anything. And to be honest, you didn't miss a huge amount. We didn't do a huge... Great lot. Um, I'll show you what I've done with the office. It's you know painting, so it's not the end, you know the most exciting thing in the world, but it is looking much brighter, and so that is nice. Uh, she helped me with that last weekend. Well, actually, more we've been doing it in the evenings. Um, other than that, it's been really quite quiet. Uh, obviously, we're preparing now for our holiday, so we're getting bits here, there, and everywhere, just things that we need. I picked up a couple of these little fans that you can just stick in your bag. They're not great, if I'm honest, but they were cheap on Amazon. Um, yeah, and that's about it really. It's been relatively quiet. I'm sure I'll remember more things as the day goes on. Keep getting up to that. Plans for this weekend. Well, the weather's terrible, but we do want to get out of the house tomorrow. So we may go to the zoo. I think Gemma's fair and she wants to go to the zoo for a little bit. Or we may go into town. There's a couple of food festivals on in town, well, street festivals in the next couple of weeks. So I'd like to get to at least one of them. Uh, tomorrow's is Castle Street, which we've not done a festival there before. And then next Sunday's is Bull Street, which we did in 2019. It was when I saw Anders Flanders playing. Uh, I, don't think he, I don't think he actually does play in the streets at the minute anymore. I don't know. He has gone a bit quiet on the socials. So I think he had a knee problem and had to start rebuilding his, uh, his one-man band equipment. Now this is the office. You can see here. I don't know if you can pick it up so much on the camera. And it isn't helped by the light in here, but... The gloss in here is really yellowed over the years. It's not been done, to be honest with you, since we moved in. Just because we have pets and I didn't want to get the pets covered in paint. But anyway, if we open the door, you can see it's 
much brighter in here now with this pale blue and it's covered the old darker blue quite well I think there might be a couple of little spots that I might want to revisit just in the corners but I can do that anytime now but yeah so I have been sanding back the top surface of this it will need a wipe down when we did the gloss downstairs we didn't do that so we painted oil, water paint water based gloss directly onto oil based gloss and it started to separate just in a few areas so I want to try and avoid that if I can. I need to do the radiator, all the woodwork. I have to excuse the floor, we're still in progress. And the back of this door is also quite yellow. Obviously I need to do both sides of the door, but I'll, for the sake of simplicity, I'll do the back. And after all that, whether I actually do any painting or not today, I don't know. I'm kind of tired. I've had a busy week. I, when I've been working, end me day working, and go in the back bedroom, do a bit of painting and i've not been sleeping the best as well if i'm honest so um might just have a bit of a rest there i need to definitely need to do some parts but we always do in this house uh, and then yeah i just relax for a little bit and give you an update on the cats as i see them asleep in his favorite spot <laughs> in his scratching box his little archie here he's uh He's at the vet said he's put a bit of weight on it. <laughs> no wonder, because he keep finding him eating it, picks his food. But he's happy, and he's been uh, very snuggly of late. No idea where the kittens are. We still call them kittens. They're two years old now, but we still call them kittens. They're still the young two. So. Oh, I should have known you'd be asleep in your favourite tub. <laughs> Dear me. Pixie's doing well. Two year gotcha day, as I said, this week. So we've had her for two years now. She's been part of the family. She came along at a good time, healing all that sadness when we lost Jen. Certainly helping anyway. We still miss him. Then he has kitten number three, little Reggie Monster. This guy is a fantastic cat. He's a sweetheart. Doesn't doesn't have any recall at all. Doesn't care if you call his name. As long as you shake a treat, he might come if you're lucky. If you put one of his favourite toys on, he'll come running. If he likes the laser pointer toy. But he does love his snuggles. Likes to come and sit on you while you're like using the laptop. He curls up in front of me and it's quite sweet. doesn't purr either. He does, but it's so quiet you can't hear it. I mean, we even continued watching back our old vlogs and stuff, you know, while we were off last week, the Florida stuff. It's been really useful though, I think, for me and Gemma to go back and, you know, talk about what works and what doesn't work in the context of the vlogs. Because um, we've got to be one of the longer running vlogging channels for Florida now, haven't we? We start, I mean, we started in 2015, so we started after quite a lot of them. But we've done every single trip, and every single holiday, pretty much, that we've been on since uh, we started. We actually started in 2014, the channel. The channel was founded in 2014. I think there was, a, there was those couple of early zoo vlogs that we did, which were like a test run. Which, to watch back, uh, I never get embarrassed about them, but they're not as good as as the time went on i think we really hit the ground running in the 2017 trip so if anyone says to us you know which trip of yours would you start with 2017 trip probably i love the 2016 trip because it was Gemma's 40th birthday trip we had the villa good good happy memories of that the filming for those two first trips was not great i was filming like this all the time so we're doing this we're doing oh even this actually <laughs> and i filmed on that blooming gopro with that image stability i, I think i've mentioned before i went back um, there's tools you can use to like hopefully you know stabilize video like that and make it better but I went back and tried it just there's nothing to save there it's because the source video is not the best I could color correct as much as I want I can image stabilize as much as I want and I don't think they're ever going to be any better the only one I'd like to do is I'd like to re-render one of the 2016 days in Epcot I had the frame rate mess up so it was like dead jerky I'd like to re-render that one, but it would mean re-editing it now, and I just never get around to it. Plus, if I put it on the channel now, out of context, it'd be a bit weird. 
We his random video of half half of a day in 2016. <laughs> uh, we do love supporting local businesses, and I noticed that there was a black metal themed coffee um, roaster in Liverpool. So I thought, oh, we've got to try that. Uh, it's nice coffee. It's very strong though. And they do say drink it black, but but we do add a little bit of milk. We haven't tried this 666 blend yet, but apparently this is 6 strength, 6 flavour and 6 something roast, I don't know. So that should be a rather hefty brew. And the website's impossible to read because they use goth fonts. <laughs> it's worth trying though. I, I, I enjoy, we enjoy getting, since we've had the coffee machine, I don't think we've had the same coffee twice. We like trying all sorts of different coffees with it, so it's been good fun. Also in my endeavours to find an alternative to uh, the sadly ruined Phantomans, I found Mr Fitzpatrick's. This is actually in Taylor's Farm Shop. Uh, they do a Dandelion and Burdock, but this time I decided to try the Sarsaparilla, which, um, which I've not really had much Sarsaparilla in the past. It's lovely though, it tastes like medicine. And the lid's stuck on. He's not out there now, but I also forgot that um, People, people were interested in updates on cat, so uh, this is a little bit of footage that I recorded earlier this week of said cat, with a little bit of an update for you. Vlog in this one just a little early, just in case we don't see him again for a few weeks. But uh, yeah, I went out into the garden last night, and uh, went into the shed to grab something. And I went up to the old shed to try and grab some paintbrushes, but I had to stop in my track to have it in the garden, because having not seen this guy, <laughs> he's just rolled off and got comfy. Having not seen him for over six weeks, he just suddenly turns up and he's just sat in the garden like butter wouldn't melt, wondering where his dinner is. <laughs> and then today he's come back again and he's just relaxing under the bush. That I was going to cut that bush down a bit, but I think I might have to leave it now because he's using it as a nice shelter spot. He does still have his garden shelter. It's uh, it's still in the corner here by the uh, the garden storage. But yeah, I'd, um, I don't want to say I've been worrying about him because he is an outdoor cat and... Uh, you know, he's subject to the challenges of outdoor living as far as cats are concerned. But I had been started to get a little concerned that maybe something had happened to him. But no, here he is. Just having me dinner. Look at these pies. This is a chunky steak pie that I picked up from Taylor's. It's just full of meat. <laughs> and while I eat, I'm simultaneously washing some dishes and watching a Twitch stream. I, I actually did just stream a little bit of Planet Zoo. I've not done it for ages and I thought... Some of my friends that I chat to online have been streaming it this week, so they really give me the uh, drive to get back into the game again. again. I had some good fun actually. Got a few people chatting and uh, built some nice things. Got some started on a new zoo, so I was quite happy with that. But Gemma's finishing work at three today now. She's finishing a bit early, which is good. It means I can go pick her up a bit early. We have a, a bit of a longer evening together. I'm quite happy about that. Uh, it does mean I need to get a crack on and get more of these pots washed though. So. I'll do that and we'll uh, catch up with Gemma later. Gemma's home. You alright, sweetie? You cold? Oh, sorry, I'll turn this fan off. It's chilly. Uh, it's the there we go. Feel chilly. Yeah, it's the miserable weather. She's having a mad minute. She is. I just filmed her just a little bit there for the vlog. Um, you doing alright? Feeling better after last weekend? Oh, yeah, you had a bit of a sore throat, yeah, didn't you? <laughs> oh, now you've set me off. <laughs> yeah. So our dinner's on. And then what are we doing tonight? Films, I think. Films. films. You fancy watching some films. And yeah, then... I haven't watched any of the premieres on Sky for what we've been. No. So. And then we're thinking maybe Zoo tomorrow. Yeah, by the Dependent. New, new Jaguar. I want to see Anchor. The Anchor? Inca. 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 Yeah, and we will try and get some video of it and maybe get some photos if the weather's nice enough to get yeah. photos. For, for, for photos. I'm thinking we could just... I don't know. Let's go. Hope it's the last trip. Yeah, if you want to. Okay, we'll do that then. Weather dependent. If it's oh, really, true. really exactly. bad rain, we'll not bother. It's raining like it was today. I don't think we'll be going anywhere. No. It's too, um, okay. too wet, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. How many days to our holiday now? 32. 32. It's coming fast, that now, isn't it? 
38. No, maybe not that far. No, it is coming. It's rocketing it's along there, though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, everything's paid for now, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, just got an easy to get some dollars, mm -hmm. pick up like the toiletry little bits that you need to yeah. Like, yeah, I've already started picking a few bits up. Um, but you can buy everything there anyway, yeah. can't you? Because so I was going to buy shorts, but you quite rightly pointed out if I buy like Under Armour, I can get them from the outlets. Well, you can buy Nike and also Reebok and Reebok as well. Yeah, yeah. They do the same type of shorts. So yeah. You may so as well go and have a look at the outlets, mightn't we? Yeah. Get a little bargain. Getting quite excited. I know. It's going to be very different this holiday. Yeah. No, no Disney bubble. No Disney bubble, but there's still Disney. We'll go yeah. to Disney Springs and um, we're doing Mickey's not so scary. Aren't yeah, we, so. and we're still looking to see if they do an Epcot evening. Yeah, I keep checking. Just Because they that. have extended them out to the end of August. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's Pixel. She's a pretty little angel. She's going to go up. She's going to go up. So this climbing frame has come downstairs because uh, the office, there was no room in it for in, in the new office that I'm putting together. And I can't go to the um, room because it's grey. I was just going to say, yeah, she loves it yeah. and she sits on it all the time. And when we're, when we're watching TV, that's where she sits. We bought this one specifically to go in the living room because it's more yeah. modern. We just didn't get the position right. What what we do want to do though is um, there's, a, there's a little box down there. We want to change the side so the hole's on the other side and then spin the whole thing around so that the tower bit here is further in. She loves it. She likes. She's, 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 the amount of time she's been asleep. She's like, if you come down in the morning now, that's where she is. She's fast mm. asleep on there. And she looks very, very cute when she falls yeah, asleep up there. Don't too. you? Oh, look how cute she is. <laughs> Favorite spot with her head upside down. Look how cute she is. You pretty girl. You pretty girl, aren't you? There's a whole half of a meat feast pizza, and the other half is garlic bread. <laughs> Gemma's got the same too, haven't you? Good. Mm. These are from the farm shop. Oh, I think I showed you another farm shop. Yeah, they like Asda pizzas, but slightly bigger. Yeah. So I like the slightly bigger Asda pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enjoy, honey. Fun. Um, yeah. Should we? Yeah. Should we head out? Okay. Oh, Before we go, I'm going to have to just stop. So I did mention that two years ago in a few... Oh, she's woke up. I'm sorry. Oh, no. But yeah, I did mention it a few... It was two years and a few days ago. It was a gotcha day, two years. But more importantly, two years today, it's the gotcha day for the sofa. <laughs> Happy birthday, sofa. Good. Is it afternoon yet? Nope. Good morning. <laughs> Seven minutes to go. We've been up ages though, we've had breakfast, we had some toast and coffee and we're going to head to the zoo aren't we? Yeah. The weather's not actually too bad, it's a little changeable but we want to go Jaguar spotting, yeah. see if we can see Inca uh, and uh, grab some food though maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll probably do our usual where uh, this vlog has no a couple of highlights. No, <laughs> and he said you've gone Harry Potter then. Haunted Mansion. Um, and then we'll have a main vlog for the zoo as well, because we haven't really done a big zoo update vlog for a while, have no. we? Since the uh, evening visit, which was more about the evening visit than just the zoo. Yeah, okay, so we'll do that and we'll see you over there. Did you have a nice night last night, by the way? Yeah, I did. What did we end up doing? We watched... We started watching that Babylon, but turned it off because it was rubbish. Mm. Um, and then watched District 9. District 9, which we haven't seen for years. Uh, yeah, well, it's good. Film, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you over at the zoo. Hello. <laughs> Is it yeah. very thick. I think it's a bit of salmon or trout because it's pink fish. Mm. Checking out the chimps again. One of the youngsters out here. Where's that, Liam? There's another adult over there as well. Welcome home. 
Good day. Aye. So there will definitely be a full zoo visit vlog. Which probably will have already gone live, I don't know. But it won't be a uh, seeing Jaguar, unfortunately. Unfortunately not. We didn't get to see it. But we'll... As, we'll, as, as elusive as Jaguars are. Yeah, we'll endeavour to go back, as I say, I think, on the vlog, probably after Florida at this point. Yeah. Well, we did have a good day. We saw lots of other stuff and saw some friends and chatted to new people. Just, um, like, we ch chatted to some viewers. We chatted to some, like, it was a nice atmosphere around the Jaguars. People just chatting. Yeah. Uh, like, two regulars and members. Reminiscing about old Jaguars. Reminiscing, yeah. There, yeah. And people who were like, uh, what are you looking at? We're like, we're, we're waiting for the new Jaguar. I think people were getting a bit frustrated because people were just waiting for the new Jaguar and thinking that they're thinking that animals were in the enclosure. I know, yeah. like, that always happens, though. It's because people are impatient and mm. they just want to see it and but don't understand. What it. I did enjoy doing today, though, was like when I went into the Jaguar house quite a lot, there was people trying to find the Jaguar. And because we're regulars, we kind of get a feel for where he is. Like We know his favourite spot. So just being able to point out where he was, and you know, like like people, like families with kids coming over, and I'm, I'm just, it's up there at the hill. Well, that was nice doing that. Yeah, that. it's nice when you can, you can see someone really looking for something, you know where it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was a good day though. Anyway, I think we're gonna have a nice relaxed evening now. We've done some walking, just over ten thousand steps each. Um, so we can grab a beer. Yeah, that was a, like a, not a very walking zoo, though. No, I know we did. We didn't walk this far at all. We did. Uh, right, maybe later. Right set my third pin board badge board up because uh, I do have those ones which I'm going to try and get in the office the other ones over in the car I think and I ordered another one because we've got a load of new pin badges that we've still not hung yet so maybe we'll do that in a bit I've made a mess I, uh, I just went and fished out all the pin badges that we've got that need to go on this board uh, I don't know why but I ordered this board to match the boards that I've already got they sent me the wrong colour but it'll be fine not like a massive difference it just doesn't have the grey striping on it but i've got the pins that are gonna go on this i'm just gonna put them on but i'll just take you through what we've got because some of these are you might have seen before some of them are new some of them are gifts um they've all come from all over the place uh, they're just stuff that has never we've never got around to actually putting on a pin back yet uh, like a board yet i'm pretty sure there's more than this i've I, i'm convinced i've not found everything but we've got uh chester zoo penguin so this one, the backing, you put it in the garden and it's seeds for wildflowers. So I'll probably try and have to do that with the backing for this one. We normally keep the backings, but for this one we'll do that. And there's a second one, which is this lion one here. We picked them up for the zoo, I think last year. Uh, we've got all seven of the current Chester Zoo pin badges, which we picked up in various vlogs. I think we picked up uh, that one, that one, that, sorry. That one, that one, yeah, them two, we picked up last year. These three have been added to the collection since, so we picked those up uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Happy with us. And I did take a photograph just to make sure that I got them all, because I do collect every single Chester Zoo badge they put out. Um, we've got all of the last set that they put out. We've got loads of previous ones as well, um, and loads of old ones from before we went to the zoo, we must have like 50 chests of zoo pin badges. And then from there, we're moving on to the uh, stuff that has been on lanyards in the past and stuff that we bought last year. Oh, uh, we did also buy this one from the shark event. There's nothing on here that actually signifies that this is chest of zoo, but it is a shark, so it's cool. Uh, and a couple of other gifts that we were given. Uh, I mentioned these a few weeks ago. Gary and Claire passed over these 2006 The Year of a Million Dreams pin badges, which are very cool. Uh, these would actually now probably be, unless Gemma has any Disneyland Paris stuff, the oldest Disney pins we own, I think. And I don't think you do, do you? you got the key rings and stuff, haven't you? We've got a bit more these are gifts, these are Disneyland Paris. Tenth anniversary pods. Oh, right. Well, yeah, so those have got to be some of the oldest ones. Uh, we do have the 50th anniversary pins. One of these was a gift from viewers. One of these was a badge that we also bought, and I can't find it. <laughs> there it is. Lovely stuff. We have the Marvel Pride collection from last year. Uh, we're not really huge Marvel fans, but I mean, it's a very cool pin badge set, so that's going to get on there. It does seem like... Price for the amount of pin yeah, yeah, this was like, what was it? 
$17.99 for six pin badges. Uh, I have lost one of the pin backs off this though, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, although I don't think they're the fancy Disney ones, they're just like round ones. Uh, but yeah, uh, it seems a shame to, take it, shame to take it off the card, to be honest. That's kind of cool. We do have one of those uh, 20th anniversary Disney Animal Kingdom uh, Animal Charities badge. Uh, we've got a Bed Knobs and Broomsticks pin badge from when we went to see the stage show. Those are the two Star Wars pins that Gemma picked up the other week in the sales at the Disney store. Uh, the other Disney Pride collection from last year. Silver. <laughs> this is the pin badge set that I got for Gemma when we confirmed that we were going to Coronado Springs, which is the Pardon Air Pixie Dust collection for, of um, the Three Caballeros when they were rebuilding the tower. Uh, so we were we, we actually visited the resort, but if you booked the resort, uh, stay at the resort at that time because they were building, they sent out these pins as a sort of apologies for the building. Uh, we missed out on them, but I bought them on eBay because I just liked them, and they weren't super expensive actually as well. There's our 2022 Disney World pin from last year's trip. Also, I struggled to find this one for a little while because it had fell off the pin back, but there is our Flower and Garden 2022 pin. There's a few bits of random Star Wars pins that we picked up from the um, outlets. There is a second one of them somewhere, I'm not sure where it is. Uh, we do have a Let's Celebrate Mickey's 90th Birthday pin badge there. We have... <laughs> this is an odd one. We have... Grand opening pins for Disneyland Resort Shanghai because uh, they were slinging these out at two dollars a piece in the uh, outlets. Yeah, in the character world. So we picked a couple of them up. There's one of them, which is uh, mini, and we also got a Duffy Bear one. I think everyone was buying them at that time. It was a few years ago now. There's the other Star Wars pin, both from um, what's the name? Rogue One. There's a Flight of Passage pin badge. Has never before now actually had a home on a pin back, but now it does. It was on the lanyard. Uh, we have a Disney Conservation Fund pin that we must have picked up on a Disney trip. I'm sure if I went back and found it, watched it. I think it was on the last, maybe the last trip or the one before, actually. Uh, we have a Figment. I think that's from the Festival of the Arts. It was also in the outlets, wasn't it? Perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. From fat. Yeah, from fat. Uh, we have this is an old Chester Zoo pin. I've actually it's actually a duplicate. I've got two of these. The elephant pin badge. I think there's one on one of the other pin boards, but I'll stick this one on this one. Why not? Who cares? Uh, we have a dead crafty pin badge. There's two of these actually. There's a black one with white back, uh, white text and a white one with black text. And this is that one. Uh, the other one I can see it's on the other pin board. Uh, we have a Rita. Alton Towers pin. We have a upside down Wicker Man pin. Again, Alton Towers. We have this lion. <laughs> I don't even remember where this lion came from. But it's a lion. Does it have anything on the back? Oh, just a lion. It's possibly a Chester Zoo pin at some point, maybe. Uh, another Festival of the Arts pin. Uh, another Alton Towers pin in the Smiler pin with the eyes that spin around. We have a... This is the 13 pin from Chester Zoo. From Alton Towers. <laughs> Chester Zoo 13. That would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Uh, we have a random Orca pin. I think this is an RSPB pin. RSPB pin. Yes, it is. Mm. We have... Well, this is the one for the Disney fans. One of our two keys to the Kingdom's pen. I do have the other one over there, but I'll just display one of them. We'll keep this one as a spur. Does seem to have got a little bit um, mucky. Needs a polish. We have... This is a strange one. A Heinz Pickle. <laughs> These uh, were given out. I don't know if they still do it, but they were given out at uh, in Heinz America. Uh, the sort of logo is the Heinz Pickle. I don't know if the UK uses this so much, but I do have one. And finally, one of my favourites actually, our friend Sugar Mochi, who does Sugar Mochi art, created this Simon uh, Simon Honeydew from the Ogscast pin and one of his emojis and handed them out to us when we did a little community meet last year. 
Uh, and there's mine. It's very cool. Made of wood. Pins that won't be added to the board are the... I've I got a bit carried away with these. I've got so many of them now. There's no way, no way that I'm ever <laughs> going to be able to give out all these because we'll probably meet like two people in Florida this year. But I'll probably take like maybe six or 12 of them. And if people do come up and say hello, they can have a couple. Um, there's now like three or four different color com uh, combinations. So each time I do them, I do a different set of colors. Uh, and at some point in the future, I might even do a completely different design. So depending on when you meet us, you might get something different assuming you want one. If you don't, that's fine too. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get them on the back and then we'll have a look and see what they look like. I knew when I was saying it that when I picked up the 50th and said it was a gifted badge that I was wrong because this was the 50th anniversary gifted badge that the Jassar family gave us. And this is the limited edition, like day one release one, which is very, very cool. So this one's getting a home on the new board as well. And the one thing I did just find, and I always do this, is when I'm trying to do these badges, I found the pin backs, the cards. So I have an entire bag with every single card. Wow. What's going on here? <laughs> Step into the light. <laughs> so yeah, they all get kept safe as well, especially like the limited release ones. We have a casualty. I broke the back off this one. It had been squished. It's the penguin from Chester Zoo. I managed to squish the back of it at some point in the past. But fortunately, I've got an idea to fix it, which involves pinbacks from our pinback collection, where I've been making my own, and Loctite. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that I found this uh, pin badge that I got when I made my lightsaber, which has been up on the fireplace since I made it. <laughs> and we're all done. They go on in no order, it's just wherever they fit, and just like higgledy-piggledy, I like that about it. Um, we need to buy some new pins on the next trip. Look, we've got plenty of room for more. Just as I thought I'd finished, I've found more pins. We have the Songbird Collection from Chester Zoo. Uh, there's another one. We have Stonehenge. This is a Chester Zoo Dino pin. We think Highland Wildlife part for this one because it's polar bears. This is from when Gemma went to see Winnie the Pooh many years ago. There's some glittery cherries. There's another pin back. I'll have to rectify that. I think I saw the pin back. It's down the back of the fish tank. There's an osprey. Was it an osprey or a turkey vulture or something? I don't know. There's an osprey. I think we got that when we went to see the lady of the lake in Scotland. Oh, yeah, I see it now. There's a 2001 red nose pin. That'll be Gemma's. And Pandora. The world of Avatar pin. So we'll add these to the list. Pix is slightly put out because Reggie's pinched a favourite spot today. Oh, little nose bumps. Look who it is. Come back for a bit more. You yeah, alright, Matey? And a bit of scran. I'll leave you two better. Straight over the minute I came in. There's some water down there for him as well in the other bowl. Oh, it's Monday evening and I thought I'd get cracking on this uh, sand in the wood. Done the picture, L. Apparently this room used to be red. <laughs> it was a long time before we moved in. I got the 40 grit sandpaper on this, I went straight through all the pins. <laughs> Oops, maybe I'll stick to 80 grit. Need to do the whole door though, it's gonna take me a while. It's kind of difficult to see, but it does take the, sh the sheen off it. There's still a bit left there in the inside, but here it's gone. This is obviously still really glossy. And whenever this room was red, I'm gonna say that predated these really rather cheap doors being installed. Doors aren't original. Strange house, the ones downstairs are all proper wooden doors and they're really nice all up here are these, these cheap or hollow things. Doesn't make me wonder if somewhere 
there were some really nice doors in this house that don't exist anymore or went somewhere else, probably to a tent somewhere, for sure. Yeah, there's a nice opportunity to look at this radiator because it's got some rust on it. It's just surface rust, it's nothing too bad. I might get some cure rust, which is like a chemical rust neutralizer that you can paint on. That should see to it. <laughs> Sell a spider mooching around there as well. Paint coming off is a bit annoying because I'm going to have to sort that because if I just paint over it, it'll just peel again. Well, that's all the wood sanded, which just leaves me with hoovering and cleaning. That's going to be uh, quite a job. Probably should have sanded that wood before I painted the walls, but luckily I didn't scratch any of the walls with the sandpaper. So, yeah, I'll give it all wiped down now and then it should be good to paint. Jammer interrupted my uh, bedroom painting by providing the delicious tea. Look at these lamb chops that we bought yeah, one stick. I know, I was most upset. <laughs> Monday night craft beers, we're having, uh, I got this Asvex Brewing Company one called Data Lake. I'll just turn it around to show you. It's from Liverpool, this one. The Gemma has Polly's Sound of Silver. They're both very nice. This one doesn't. It does have passion fruit in it, but doesn't trigger my weird taste profile, so I don't know if I've got over that or it's something else that I haven't figured out what it is. Yeah. Get Reggie down there watching the uh, Otters on Reeves Family Adventures vlog. <laughs> so I'm just on my lunch, it's Wednesday. I've made no further progress with the back room. The back room is not a rush job. I'm going to take my time with it when I've got time in the evenings and if I'm honest, this week I've been really tired in the evenings uh, and during the day. Um, and I've got, I've got a few things I need to be in the office for this week as well. So it is going to be a, a little bit of a long game project. Um, I still need to order the Cure Rust for the radiator. I'm going to put that in my Amazon inbox for delivery Friday probably. Uh, but yeah, it's Wednesday. The zoo vlog has just gone live. Um, didn't end up as long as I thought it was going to be that one. I thought I'd recorded more. Although actually I do remember um, I did film the flamingo babies that had all grown up and when I realised what actually was happening was I was recording on my phone when I pulled it out of my pocket for some reason. I stopped recording then did the piece where I talk to the camera and tell you what I'm looking at. <laughs> then I started the recording again and put it in my pocket. <laughs> So that's why some of the footage is missing, so I need to double check that in future. Oh dear me. Uh, but yeah, that's who, that video's uh, literally 25 minutes ago gone live. Uh, shit, what you can do in YouTube, you can schedule them. So, you, so I give it a watch last night, scheduled it, and it just goes live and it just manages itself. It's lovely. Um, so this is going to be the end of this one, though, because I need to get this vlog edited tonight for Friday. Do you know what? If I didn't enjoy doing it. <laughs> uh, no, I do. It's been fun. It's fun. Uh, but anyway, that's, that is this week's vlog done. So next weekend, we are looking at probably going to town for the Ball Street Festival. Um, we went 2019, and there's another one on this week, uh, the weekend. So we'd like to go and check that out. What else was going to say? I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. I think we're going to end off this vlog now. Uh, I think this one's been quite a long one. A lot of chatting, a lot of catching up. Um, and we'll probably do more chatting and catching up next weekend. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! Oh, additionally, if anyone's on Blue Sky, I'm on, we're on Blue Sky now. I signed up for it for ages ago, and they sent us an invite. And at the minute, I'm literally only posting cats. And if you're one of the first people who follows on there, I'll probably just follow you back for a chat because. The only other people I follow are video gamers and a couple of other people. And a lot of meme accounts follow us for some reason. There we go. Anyway, see you in the next one. Goodbye.